a field trip, y'all. Tomorrow's the real field trip. Tomorrow we're going on the roadie. We're gonna go the road. Did I tell you guys? I don't know if I told them or I just said, hey, we're thinking about it. Surprise them when we did it, but now you guys, I'm sorry if I out of the bag again. If I told you guys when it was supposed to be a surprise, I'm sorry. Uh, but tomorrow's a field trip. If you can't be in for the beginning or all of it, that's cool because tomorrow we're gonna do the rodeo barbecue tasting. Barbecue tasting is we did it last year. You guys, we only had like uh, like 250 subs last year. So, and what we do basically is we go through a, a series of just random questions that we have when we're gonna try it. We say, you have your phone, baby? Yeah. We'll say, um, is it, does it have a smoke ring? Does it taste like, uh, does it fall off the bone? Does it taste how like- How's the smoke level? How's the smoke level? Is it too, like, does it taste like a pot roast? Like, a, trust me, you guys, we've been through some where the brisket tastes like a pot roast. And we're like, bro, did they just, because most of the time you pay like $14 for your plate of, of brisket and sometimes 17, whatever. My point is this, it sucks when you buy it and then it's not even that good. So tomorrow we're going on the bar, the rodeo. It's called barbecue rodeo. It's, that's what we do. Last year we did about, was it about two hours? About that. We just walked around the whole, it's at a fairgrounds. So they have carnival rides and all that. We don't have no kids, so we just, we look in awe of everybody. But anyways, what's up everybody? It's Friday, Friday. I'm looking, I'm looking, I think that's Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn's the only one that has a name that long. You don't have your glasses? Bro, I don't oh, do it, cool. I can't do it all. You gotta be cool. That's right. Okay. Just relax. Is that Penny? My little pens? Hold on, y'all. I wish, Joe, can you hold it for me? Sure, I'll drive and hold your... your it's holding it. No one's telling you to do anything else. Calm your like, jets. Do I have any... Um, I gotta get one of my mods in here to drop a link. We are going live on our, on our other channel. The one that was supposed to be... Um, it was supposed to be um, like a, you know, I'm gonna drag and let it out and blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, yeah, that's not me. I'm sorry. It's not that I'm not gangsta, thug. I can go that route. I can, I don't want to. I love loving everybody. Literally, I see people in stores and I talk to everybody. I smile at everybody. I am happy, happy, loving to everybody. 99.9% .9 of people. I truly am overly happy with everybody. And I, and literally people will come up to us and go, oh my gosh, I just, and I don't mean this to brag or anything like that. They're like, I love your vibe. You're just so positive and happy and upbeat. And, and I'm like, oh, I appreciate that. But then to be honest with you, I feel a little weirded out. Like they were watching me. Like how long were they watching me? Like. It just sometimes weirds me out when people say that because uh, me and Joe are just eating lunch and we're talking and laughing and you know just I am who I am I mean yes I know I am a it's not even so much of an extrovert it's just I have a very positive bubbly personality and honestly you guys I really I'm correct and honestly there's only two people that have wronged me to make a whole channel just to do that. Nah, I'd rather have the happy times over there. And I'd rather not, not, not what, like, are you really that like, man, are you really going to do a channel to just be mad? And no, I'm not. It, it was bizarre. I thought about it for that long. And then I thought, I'm like, no, you're not going to do this. This is ridiculous. So I said all that to say, um, let me get my glasses so I can see if my mods. Is Milltown in here? I love you guys. Tomorrow the cooking is going to be on our other, or not our cooking, our barbecue place is going to go on our other channel. Um, 
I, I just, well, let me tell you why. Because they're not, they're more than likely going to play music there because it's bands and stuff. And Team Maricela, you ain't going anywhere uh, tomorrow. Oh, love, I love you so much. Spitfire, Tea Berry, Georgia Peach, Liz. Let them keep reaching you and stay blessed. That's right, Mama. You know, it kind of is like, I mean, to be truthful. Um, okay, I'm just going to say it. Shit. It's kind of funny how a certain person with three letters gets under somebody else's skin so bad. And I, it's almost like that with me. Just to know I get under their skin. I mean, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of cute. Like, you're so mad. You, you go after my doggy. Like, I'm not like Dorothy and I've got the poodle. I mean, Nova is cute, but I don't, like, you're right. I'm blessed and I'm just gonna keep it moving. Just like Liz said. You know what? I have a couple of like, um, what are they called? Level-headed people that I keep in my circle. Georgia, Georgia Beach. Yes, that, you know what? Thank you for thinking, you know what? It was my motivation, like, to, I love knowing that I get you that much. Like, I I feel, honestly, I felt bad the first day. I was like, I feel kind of bad for like, but I don't want somebody miserable, but I can't make you not miserable. You choose to be miserable. I didn't choose to be, no, honey, you wanna close that, please? I don't choose to go, like, I have to make up my mind that I am, um, I'm gonna look at things in a positive way. Do I miss my dad? Yes. Do I miss my brother? Yes. Do I miss my son and my daughter? Yes, yes, and yes. But am I gonna sit home and mope about it? I would love to, but honestly, what is that gonna offer to my marriage? You know what I mean? Like, me being a sad sack is gonna offer nothing to my marriage, and instead, me and my husband will end up just being, um, in that yuck and that funk you know why not you know it, you, it, whether you want to say it like that or not fake it till you make it the more you smile the more you get laugh the more you do things like that you will start feeling better about yourself and i'm not here to say everybody needs to because give yourself a minute uh, trust me homegirl will give herself a couple minutes and go to the room and i'll think about my dad and i'll cry i'll think about my son or my grandson and how i want to see him and i'll cry but honestly i am blessed i have a grandson who's loves me and my son who adores me my son if anybody has not seen my son 30 years old listen to this all my little beautiful my son has a picture of me and him. He was four or five years old, and he has it. Try me, bitch! Welcome in, love. I have a, my son has a picture, like right there on his sun visor. It's a picture of me and him. So when my 30-year-old son has a picture stuck in his, in his sun visor, or when my 30-year-old son is, I wanna show you guys, this is really pretty. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Just, I know it just looks like everybody who's used to country, used to country. I mean, it is what it is. But where we live, um, we were in a small town that had like, we had a couple marinas and it was just all water everywhere. Um, I couldn't have my own channel because I would, I know, I, listen, you guys, but Liz, what you would do that for the first day or two but then you're like oh my god i live in a beautiful town in a beautiful location how much has your life changed in one year that you start thinking wow my life is really blessed you know what i mean it's not that i don't want to do that but how many people am i blessing by doing that or by going hey you know what I, I, listen, I know people have said, I've seen her comments in, in, uh, I've seen her comments in, in comment sections. The people that I have commented on are two people, two, that's it. 
I don't know. I know people have talked about me. Subs of theirs have talked about me. I know this. I don't even talk about them in channels. I only talk about two people. The one of them I was a member for, and she had a picture of my daughter, and there were 500 people in her chat that were calling my daughter a fat, ugly, I was a scammer, I was a piece of garbage, and my daughter was ugly, how stupid my daughter looked, what my, they called my daughter a bunch of names. And you know what? I was a member. And I was a member because I felt like, oh my God, I just wanna help out, even if it's only five or $6, here I'll member up so I can help her. I couldn't believe that my picture was up on her, on her whatever. Like, I just wanna know, want you guys to know, I am not mean, mad, ugly, vile, nothing. I am like that. When you come from my daughter, when you come from my marriage, I will, I will, I don't have limits. Let me say that. I will cut a sister down all the way down. You come from my daughter and I won't even think about the repercussions. You come from my daughter and that that's it. That is it. So for me, unless this human being were to apologize to me for the things that her chat was saying about my daughter, then, then I will consider the apology and if I want to take it or not. I'm just saying. Spark plug, Jackie! Hi, spark plug. Hi, my Thor. Oh, my Lord, Thor. I love the fact of the matter. The I have subs from all different communities. But at the same time, you guys, I have to... Two people, like I said, have... One of them told me that I... Uh, some of you guys don't like Ski. It's not about you guys liking him. I felt like I was doing something by being in his channel. I felt like I was offering something to his channel. I felt like I was offering sound advice, kindness, and love, and friendship, and, and an extension of the Lord's hand, okay? That's what I felt like. I felt like me being over there was offering him a light in a dark place, okay? We, I took a lot of heat from it, and I don't care, because for me, when you're my friend, you're my friend, period. I'll take all the heat all day long for my friends. If you're my friend, in a heartbeat, my channel, Liz, me and Liz go back, and I will take any heat for Liz. Okay. She said that I was on that over there having this person. If you know Ski, you know Ski. He's not a nice person. That's not the point. He's a kind when you get to know him. My point is she, I didn't even say one word to her. She said that I was desperate because I was getting attention from him. I was over on his channel and I was grateful that he was talking to me because my husband doesn't even like me because I was disgusting to look at. You guys, I, I just like being nice to people. I, there was no ulterior motives. I just like being nice to people. and. Uh, honestly, I know some people are like, she's vile, but two people, two, two people have spoken on my marriage and have spoken on my daughter. I take the gloves off and we go down, period. I'm not going to go, oh, geez. No, I'm telling you right now, if they talked on your daughter, they talked on your son, I promise you. You guys would go, hell nah. We going rounds, period. We are going the rounds. I'm not afraid of pretty much anybody. And I don't say that to sound like I'm a Billy badass. I'm telling you because I've gotten my ass kicked. So I know if somebody can beat me up, I'm not afraid of another woman telling me something, period. Like, go. I, I, I have no problem meeting either one of them. No problem meeting up with them at all, okay? 
you know what? It, it, that's, that's the, that's the, that's the whole point of it is I can't stand when I see people say that Mitten isn't nice because I am nice. There's two people that I'm not nice to. And until either one of them apologizes to me, I won't be nice. Why would I be nice? No, sorry. Not, not today, Satan. I have love for everybody. I don't want bad to happen to them. But I don't mind me having a little bad. Just kidding, guys. We're going grocery shopping. Let's go. Somebody had said in the chat that they wish that, that we could do grocery shopping or something to the effect of like, um, how did they say it? Somebody said something. Thank you, Shorty. I appreciate that. I try to be. I try to think about what kind of what kind of person that I want to be left like a name. Like I wasn't a nice person when I was my with my other creator. People knew me as like a bulldog for this person. And how embarrassing to be a bulldog for this person. But I was like I just didn't like the person I was when I was in my 20s. You know what I mean? And then I was, my daughter goes, mom, do you know who you, have you ever listened to what this person posts or comments or nothing? And I'm like, no, I really didn't. When you mod for a channel, a lot of times you miss the chat. You miss what's going on. You're when kind of, 000, well, there was usually yeah. around five or 600 people in the chat. So some of us were dropping links. Some of us were looking at the, the handles. Some of us were looking at avatars to make sure they weren't doxing people. Some of them would be writing things. Then other people are just fighting with people back and forth. Aw, babe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I know that's you, Sparkplug, because I know. Thank you so much, love. I appreciate the blessing that you just blessed us with. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but I, you know, the, the hardest part about, the hardest part about being on here and having a channel is to not use it for negative. So when Liz said, if I had a channel, I would pop off on people. And I, the thing is, it is easy. Trust me. It is very, very easy to go live and I'm going to bust out. And I, and I actually only came live because I want to go grocery shopping with you guys because somebody asked about it. But then when I saw her mention about not having a channel because I'd probably pop off, I thought, no, you know, let me explain, Liz. I do want to say stuff. When I see posts, when I see videos, when, and I think to myself, it doesn't matter to me what they think about me. As long as Joe thinks that I'm a hot bitch, then I'm okay. As long as my kids call me, my, my son calls me on his first break, sometimes on his lunch, sometimes he calls me on his way home from work. Tell me again, who's really, really, like, I am a blessed woman. My daughter calls me from Budapest, just, I'm not, I'm not even lying, you guys. When she goes to Berlin or wherever, the very first night she lands, she calls me so we, I swear to you as, as God is my witness, so we can watch the sunset together. Because in our, where we are from in Michigan, we did sunsets all the time. We lived right on the lake, okay? We lived right on Lake Michigan. So our thing is sunsets. So my daughter, I swear to you, when she lands in Berlin, or wherever she's at, she goes, mom, the sunset. And that's her, my, my way of knowing she's landed. She calls, we FaceTime each other and we watch the sunset together. She calls and says, mom, today I smelled like, I've, I smelled one of my shirts and it smelled like, I think you must've worn it. Or I was thinking back to the donut on the way to dropping me off. We would share a bran muffin and a chocolate milk together. Honestly, you guys, it would take such, Liz, it would take so much out of me, like out of my soul of who I am to get on and be nasty. They, Thor, you, sunsets are like captivating. 
It is so sweet. My, I mean, for my son to call on his break or on his way home, my daughter to share a sunset. And I always screenshot it when she does. I screenshot and I save it. It's huge. And then on top of that, I've got a guy who thinks that my, the sun and the moon rise and, and, and set with me. Why would I get up and be mad? Why would I get up and be mean? I, I just don't have it. I'm blessed. Like, I'm blessed more because I feel like the Lord allowed me a platform. I say that because of this. A year ago, I was telling you guys, we only had 200, 180 subs when we went to our last... Um, Oh, well, I love that you love our cooking channel. Oh, well, we, you know what? It, and that's it, for me. Somebody said, um, "How are you and Joe so kind to each other, or so loving towards each other?" You know what, you guys? I think there's a lot about Joe. I think, oh, love. Thank you so much, babe. Um, one of my friends just said they're in the bushes, so it makes me feel good. Um, Honestly, you guys, I look at it and Joe, I, I bless Joe like Joe blesses me. We both savor each other's friendship. We both, y'all put, I don't know what happened, but Joe, give me my phone. My phone. Here, say hi. Hey, what's up, y'all? Don't be kind. What? I said hello. You guys, we, that live yesterday was out of control. Joe is not allowed to be... We were cracking up because we were talking. Well, we apologize if we offended anybody. I'm trying to get there, you guys. Just sit oh, in the babe. TV parking lot. Cut it out, Thor. You're the best. Thor, thank you, babe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all ain't going to get me all up in tears. Not as we're going in already. I love you. There's no crying at H-E-B. <laughs> I love H-E-B. I don't care what nobody thinks about H-E-B. I love H-E-B. I used to like Myers up in Michigan, but mm -hmm. H-E-B got to beat hands down, man. I mean, Myers has clothes and stuff like that, but... So they don't even know what Myers is. I know, they don't know what Myers Thor, is. Thor, thank Myers you is for like the a, blessing. a small-time H-E-B. It's kind of a Midwest thing. I appreciate you guys. He is kind. He's so kind. Thor, I know I asked you before, but... You're just a blessed man. You're, I, I mean, when, uh, like let me tell you the, let me tell you the kind of person bacon? that Thor is, you guys. Yeah. Um, we're in another person's chat that we know, and someone mentions their sickness or how they're feeling, and Thor will give them some advice, like, try taking this. This might help with your congestion, me with my migraines. Like, you guys, that's, I'm just letting you guys know that the friendships that we make on here, are actually more if we want them to be more. Hi, Kathy. If you want our friendships to be more, open up yourself to go, hey, I don't want anybody to know my personal life, but I'm a willing to let them know a little bit about me because people are, I mean, I was talking to one of my girlfriends and she's like, there's a lot of lonely people online, a lot of lonely people. And that breaks my heart. What? Jenna Rue, aww. Thank you, babe. Thank you, Jenna Rue. I appreciate that. And I and you're a hundred percent right. And I read that and then Thor also said, focus on the ones that lift you up and ignore the ones that don't. And I was reading these to Joe and I said, you know, I don't know why one or two negative ones get like it get in my head. But then when I read something like that or what Thor writes, it's like, you know what? We're I'm, we oh what I was telling you guys is I feel like the Lord allowed us a platform because a year ago it was only like 175 people. And now we have a platform to share the happiness. It doesn't even have to be that we mention God all the time. We can just talk about how good it is and how nice it is to be nice to people and how nice it is. Like we didn't realize that people notice the way me and Joe interact with each other until we get emails that say you guys are so kind to each other you guys are so loving with each other and we're like 
what did I say? So then I will play the video again and we crack up again the whole video, you guys. I And I'm not tooting my own horn by any means, but I am rolling on the floor. I'm going, how do we still have subscribers? Like me and Joe are just a hot mess in the live. Like we're just, we're who we are. Well, I don't know how to be anything else, but this. Um, Joe makes me crazy sometimes. Yesterday was on my damn nerves. If y'all can tell, the beginning of my life, I was like, Joe, he had one or two cervezas before. Yes, k -Braze. We were, um, he had one or two cervezas before we went live. And he was just a little chatterbox. And I was just like, oh, why that lady wave to you? Who? The one right in front of us. I don't know. Oh my God. I was Whatever. Right I looked right at her and she looked at you and she went like that. I'm going, what the hell? <laughs> she can't even see in here. That lady, the windshield, she can see. Bro, save it. Whatever. I'll whoop that hoe's ass. Be all looking at my man right while there's a woman right next to him. What is that? Oh, still got it. <laughs> That someone just said it. Joe still got it. Still got it. Still pulling them in. Whatever. That was an adjustment. We had to come to uh, Texas. They all call everybody honey. I mean. I don't mind. I Whatever. I don't mind if they call him honey. I minded when somebody says, there you go, sugar, and winked her eye. I'm like. She was like 92. Baloney. She was like 45. It's not the point. I don't care if she's 105. Calling my man sugar. And I'm like, sugar? Don't make me wound up and I'll give you I'll give you a little sugar. Let's go inside H-E-B, y'all. There you go. All right. Take them with you. Do I have enough juice? Don't forget them. <laughs> You're so dumb. Don't forget them in the truck. <laughs> They're all just looking at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I think I would lose my... They'd be like, well, we, we left. Yeah. Are we left food? Sorry, guys. We live in a very small town. So if anybody's going to say, oh, my God, how do you live there? We don't have an option. It's our small town. We we don't want to have to drive. And we drove 30 minutes, about 20 minutes to get here. We don't have an option. This is where we live. Okay. I can't see you guys. You guys have to wait. What, baby? I was back in on that. This is like brand new, you guys. We are so excited when we got a brand new ADB. See it? But I was just going to show you guys a couple of things about... Um, I showed you guys before about getting things in the bulk section. But, um, well, a couple of people wanted to... Well, how we look at things when we're shopping. And I'm only going to do like maybe another 10 or 15. I just want to show you guys the produce, what we look at. Um, and if you guys are bored, you guys don't feel like you're offending me at all. Uh, Jackie, thank you for the blessing. Um, I understand and I respect if anybody has to hop out of here. Thank you guys for being in here for right now. We're going to be going. Oh, I don't want to say anything yet. We Tomorrow we're going to do the rodeo. But later on tonight, we want to go live and do something. But I don't want to say anything until we can for sure do it. For sure, for sure. So, I love you. Thor, if you have to leave and I don't get to say... I think we might need the other one for some reason. It doesn't want to connect. Mm -mm. Hold on, guys. Hey, guys. My dog isn't doing well. Oh, Signal's getting... Uh, Janky. I'm gonna go out to the car and get that okay. hot spot. You wanna unlock it? Mine hooked up. I know it's hooked up, but oh. it's still not well. Okay. You wanna unlock the truck, babe? Unlock it. Look at it's such a little town, you guys. I gotta show you. I mean, this may seem big. Oops. There's our little gas station, but we drove. This isn't ours. We're, there, we're like 30, 25 minutes from our town. Our town is in another direction, but we have to come over here to get our, our groceries that we're going to do. We usually buy it on Friday for the week that's coming up with the things we're going to make for next week. And that's why you guys will sometimes see this post like seven things all at or five things all at once. Oh, you guys, I was, you guys, anybody wanted me to make, um, 
enchiladas to show you guys how to make use that sauce that we made yesterday if anybody wants to do that i can do it because i already have the sauce and i already have the tortillas so i i can get the stuff if you guys want me to do that um but the reason i wanted to show you was making the sauce for yesterday's dish allows you to make like say not tomorrow like say you guys want three days or something like that some of you guys may not want mexican food back to back so you guys will do like say monday you guys make the uh, the mexican casserole or the mexican lasagna so then on tuesday you have a meatloaf or whatever you decide to make so then on wednesday or thursday the sauce that i um oh shoot hold on y'all oh no hold on you guys oh lord Oh my word, I can't get out of here. Cancel. Babe, I'm stuck. Um. Oh, I'm trying to turn it around. Okay, guys, sorry. Um. Uh, what was I saying? What was I just telling them? I don't know. Um, oh, if you make that enchilada sauce, you can do the, um, did you wipe off this with the sanitizer? You can do the um, casserole one day, and then like two days later, that enchilada sauce, stick it in the refrigerator, and in two days, I would say no more than three, because it's got chili powder. So if it has chili powder, you guys, it cannot, it cannot sit on the counter overnight. You have to put it in the fridge right away, okay? So put it in the fridge right away, and then if you, say uh, tomorrow you're gonna make meatloaf or spaghetti or or whatever you want to make then use the sauce we made that's why i made such a big pan of it so that it can be used for enchiladas a wet burrito you get the big burrito shell you fill it up with your your fillings and then you pour that enchilada sauce that we made last night over the top of it okay i'm gonna i was gonna make the enchiladas with you guys so that way you guys can see just buying one package of corn tortillas and a packet of cheese that you might already have in your house you may already have shredded cheese in the house so i'm just trying to give you if you have some left over how to what to work with it okay this is what i wanted to mainly show them um for a okay are we gonna put the girls in this. yep let's put them back oh. 177 guys i we were gonna make chicken soup 105 and these are one pound bags okay one pound bags oh i guess like oh it's 16 ounces i thought it was 15. these are even smaller this is only seven ounces but look dollar 88 for all that a dollar 88 and this is three pounds 32 two, two pounds, pounds yeah. so just Yes, it's a little bit more work, but we go home on the night, we buy our groceries, we peel them yeah, are, and we dice them up. That's if you want organic, so. Yeah, but but still, I mean, but still, I mean for us, this is a two pound bag right here, two pounds. So it's up to you if you wanna take the time. For us, why pay a dollar eight, a dollar eight? You can buy two pounds for $2 instead of $3. Um, it just seems to be more like, um, oh, you guys, anybody ever have these? Hold on. I want to show them the cotton candy, you guys. Look at this. I'm sure everybody has them, but we fell in love. They're very expensive, so we just look at them. Don't tell nobody. Please don't tell them. Joe always wants to get me in trouble. Oh, my God. They're so good. Oh, my God. I won't. Joe won't let me take any more than one, you guys. He, it does. Uh, one of these days, they're expensive. They're like five ninety eight for. Um, oh my God! One day, you guys. One day. I need my glasses so I can read them. In here? Yeah, they are. Mm. Um. Our strawberries are two ninety eight. All right, all right, all right. Um, do you guys have a preference of anything? Anybody, anything? Um, I was gonna do a pineapple upside down cake because I didn't do that one with you guys. I felt really bad about it, but I was really craving my feta salad again. 
Anybody feeling like a feta salad? Mm. Okay. Um, you guys, we were in Michigan and our produce was cheaper there than it is here. Our produce here is so expensive. <gasps> oh no. What? Oh my God, somebody's puppy is the game. <laughs> Um, and this is another thing, guys. This is the salad mix that you can, you, it's optional. Okay. This spinach, these are the same thing as this, but for me to buy this thing, if you're going to use it to make a salad, it seems like it goes a little bit further. You're going to pay $3. Look at you guys, two twenty eight dollars for this little bitty bag. And it's the same thing, but it's, oh wait, baby spring mix. And this is three. 288. And then this is 328. You guys, I think that they, I think they look for things that are convenient and some people take it and some people don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Joe, we were supposed to do the, um, these are what we're going to use for our, um, Chili rellenos. Oh, yeah. I thought we were going to do that on Wednesday. Yeah. Hey, anybody in chat, would you guys rather do chili rellenos or ambuligas soup? This is chili rellenos. R-E-L-L-O-N-S. N-O-S. Um. Bye, Tessa. Thank you for coming in, love. Yep, this is what hatch peppers look like. They look, yeah, hatch peppers look like this. If they your exactly stores like carry this. them, you'll have These to. These are Anaheim's from California. And, and hatch peppers come from Arizona. New Mexico. Um, any, but nobody's saying that they want to do the chili rellenos. Oh, she is. Ooh, she wants to. I don't mind doing those, stuff. Those are. All we need is two of them. So 264, this will probably be about a half a pound. So probably about a dollar thirty. Okay, we're gonna do chili rellenos next week, you guys. You guys are literally helping us make our menu for next week. Okay. Oh my god, look at how big their pineapple is, you guys. Shush, that's a big pineapple. They're pretty too. I mean, they're four dollars. They better be pretty. This is what your tomatillos look like. Remember, I told you guys they look like this with paper. All right, T Berry. I have two, three. Mom. Hi, mom. Okay, that's what we're making, you guys. Thor, what's your preference? Would you rather have? Chili rellenos or ambuligas for the cook along because you guys are all members. So you guys, would you rather have the chili rellenos or would you rather have the ambuligas for well, how much was it? Look at that, you guys. And the rest of what it takes is just egg eggs at home. We'll probably use two or three eggs, a dollar fifty eight, and then we're gonna probably use two or three eggs at home. So then we're gonna buy a dozen of eggs anyways, but. Even if we weren't, let's just say that it cost a dozen of eggs. We're going to take two of them out of it. And then we're going to put a chunk of cheese in there. And a side of rice, maybe. So I need Roma's to make the salsa. The red salsa on it. Thor chili goes right to my heart. <laughs> Girl, yes, they did. I don't know what happened, Spitfire. One day the... Eggs were literally a dollar forty nine for an eighteen pack, and now we're back up to three ninety nine for just a twelve pack. And I was upset. I mean, what can I do? Oh, back to this, you guys. This is what they look like. You take these, you go home, and you peel this off. Okay. This you're not gonna find them like this unless you go to like a Sprouts, a Whole Foods. Whole Foods might even have them like this though. But this is a tomatillo. See the word? Tomatillo. 
and they're 95 cents a pound. So you're gonna get a good six of them for a half a pound maybe, so that's only 50 cents. Onion, tomatillos, garlic. You can have a salsa verde at home for you guys. You guys, garlic, onion, tomatillos, and you put it in a pan with some oil. You roast it up, put it in your blender or your ninja. You can put those right on your on your tacos. Jalapenos, serranos you need. Um, here are your jalapenos. I would only put like one jalapeno, maybe, maybe two, maybe a jalapeno, but you're gonna roast these. Whatever you do, you roast those with that in your pan or your serranos. These are, these are serranos. Anybody coming in? These are serranos. Bye, bad. Thank you for being in here, bad. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. So the, <laughs> we have a cooking channel. So we're grocery shopping with them. <laughs> these are serranos these are going to be a lot hotter you guys these will be a lot hotter than your jalapenos these are the ones that we use when we made the jalapeno poppers we cut them in half and we clean them okay but you can just keep them like this keep the seeds in them wash them off saute them in the pan with some oil and that's like you, you can use them for more than one thing is what I'm trying to say. You don't have to use them just as a jalapeno popper because that's the recipe that you got. You can use these as part of your dish. Salsa, um, jalapeno, you know, like any kind of picosos, just treat it like it's a green pepper. Cut it, slice it, dice it up, put it in, in your um, in your sauces that you're making. Oh, baby, did you, were you showing me something? Avocado? Avocado, did you want some? Are they two for a dollar, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just take a couple. 264. 264. You get an extra avocado. But not only that, though, I want to show them. Okay, these are 50 cents each. Okay? These avocados are 264. So you're, there's, you get one more avocado, but let me show you the difference. First of all, look at the size of it. But not only that is, you don't know. They're hard. Well. They're hard yeah. And you have to wait. And are they all going to get ripe at the same time? You can buy three of them here for $1.50 and you can actually pick out which ones you want. So this does seem like the better deal because you get an extra one. But first of all, they're smaller, like really small. And number two, if these are green, then it doesn't it did do you no good to save the money because you can't even use them. These are the difference between a ripe. Hard. Got a little bit of give. And then the, the darker brown it is. These are a buck fifty-eight each. Yep. The darker that these are, and then this look at this top will come off like that. When it's ripe, that will fall right off. Oh, sorry. No, that's and hard. that one's won't come out at all. That's grab then, a grab one of these. When they're ripe, the the little plug will drop out when it's ready and it's ripe. Okay? Just be cautious because even though it looks like it's a good deal, you just like, that looks like a good deal, but they're small and you don't have them ripe. These are 250 a piece. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger Haas. All right, we need some Romas because we're gonna make the chili rellenos with everybody. We're gonna make the sauce, I think on an earlier live, if everybody wants to, it, I think it's a members cook along. So we're gonna make the, oh, we could probably do it as a same live. Uh, yep, I need about five or six Romas. We're gonna make the chile, the, it's like a, it's like a rojo sauce. It's a rojo sauce. It's almost like a salsa, like you're making your, um, what is that called when I make you breakfast? Uh, huevos rancheros. It's like a ranchero sauce on top of the rellenos, the chili rellenos, okay? So we're gonna make onions, peppers, garlic, Roma tomatoes, we'll blend it up and it'll be a sauce that we're gonna put on our poblanos that we're gonna fry and it'll have a crust on it. Rellenos. My mom, rellenos, llenos. My mom trying to help me. Chili rellenos. Listen, matongi no tingo. Oh, thank you, Logan. I'm glad you liked it. 
I like your Mexican lasagna. Still watching. Can you write the recipe and directions in the description? That would be really helpful. I will. I think I have another video that has all of that, but I'll do it. If you can give me about two hours so I can get back home, I will write all the instructions to do the uh, lasagna or the Mexican casserole. We did it as a pie. You guys remember last time we did it as a in a square eight by eight or nine by nine pan. You can do it as a pie shell, which it worked well because Joe ended up buying really big burrito tortillas. And I said, what in the world? These tortillas are so large. What am I gonna do with them? And then I said, you know what? I'm gonna stick it right in the pie, shell, pie pan and do a Mexican lasagna pie. You don't wanna make him feel unappreciated. He went to the store for me. Um. I would say get about, do you feel like eating some jalapeno poppers? Yeah, grab a few extra. Jalapeno poppers, cream cheese, smoked sausage, or um, clean up. We've made them with you guys, but um, I'm willing to make them again while we're live. Just clean out your jalapenos, soften cream cheese in a pan with your Smokies, fill it up and bake them. Ooh, jale chihuahuas. All right. I'm going to go through the last produce and then um, I think the next time we go live, we'll do a different department. Okay, baby. All right. So this is like our uh, bulk produce area. We showed you guys checking if you're making a recipe instead of buying um, instead of buying a large amount of something, buy what you need. Why, you know what I mean? If you don't see a need for the chai seeds and you're making your overnight oats, just buy what you need. <clears throat> right here look for your bulk section sometimes they have it and sometimes they don't so say we're gonna make something and it takes like this a creole seasoning or a cajun seasoning for the jambalaya or the gumbo buck 83 all those. okay that's pretty good just put them in the damn cart <laughs> i love you <clears throat> so if we find a recipe and it calls for thank you if we go and we find a recipe that calls for coriander or it calls for um i don't know let's just say you're low on your income and you can't afford to buy a whole container of of the what it 2.99 or whatever try looking here and buying just a small amount in a baggie to get you through to your paycheck if you're like for me when i'm making um Hey, Berkey, when you're uh, doing the Thanksgiving sage, I'm never going to use my sage. Celery salt, sage, probably not going to use it. So I would look for a minute here, you guys, just because or during the holidays to stick some cloves and some like some of this stuff is expensive. If you buy a whole batch of it and you don't need a whole batch of it. Look at the 78 cents. If you go to the. The cheapest you're going to find at great value at uh, at Walmart is a dollar twenty-five. It, I know you're thinking, well, it's only six, fifty or sixty cents. I don't care. It's fifty or sixty cents. Bay leaves. Some stuff call for a bay leaf to put it in. Fifty-two cents. You, they have stuff like this in your baking or in your bulk area. Nutmeg. If you're going to do a, a bechamel. A bechamel is nutmeg in your, you, I haven't showed you guys that. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. It's in a roux, right? Yeah, in the roux, but I haven't even showed them that yet. Okay. Um, moving, on. moving on. And just so you know, don't buy your nuts from here. I found out Sam's Club and Costco have a two pound bag for 10 or $11. These cost $9 a pound. So two pounds is going to be $18. Go to Costco go to Sam's Club. I know I told you guys to buy them from here because I was making overnight oats. Then I went and I bought them over there and I go, what in the world? If you're doing the, what do we make? Uh, Caesar salad. These are pepitos. Okay. I won't use them again. So I bought only what I needed for the live that night. Seven fifty. So I bought about two, a quarter of a pound because they're seven fifty a pound. I don't need that many. Well, I, some people may use them to make granola. Some people may not. It, it all depends. If you use the stuff, you'll find it helpful. For us, we don't use that kind of stuff. 
all the time. For us, it was like, hey, let's just buy the, like I love Caesar salad, but um, I wanted to show you guys the dressing, not necessarily us stock it in our, we, we really don't have that many things that we just stock up our covers with pepitos and all these things. Our home is just not like that. We're two 60 and 50 year old, we're 50 and 60 years old. So we kind of, um, we just kind of, what do we eat like? We eat like bologna sandwiches, yeah. ham, um, ham sandwich. Ham sandwich. Whatever we're hungry. Um, oh, you guys, we're supposed to do shit on a shingle. <laughs> we never did that. You guys, I know this sounds crazy, but considering this store, this does not taste like grocery store sushi. I swear to you, the sushi is phenomenal. If anybody, any of my viewers live in the Texas area, go to the HEB. I promise you, it is good. Jody, do you want to show them the potatoes? Okay, the other night we did a, a, a straw, uh, shrimp boil. This is $4 for a bag, okay? We ended up, this is $4.48 for these red potatoes, okay? These are $1.48 a pound. So what we did was we bought, we bought the smaller ones, but we bought about five of them this size and then we cut them up into fourths does it still work absolutely you're still getting a red potato you either way you're going to do them like in a are we did it as our shrimp boil i don't i mean who wants to pay 450 for that i don't want to dollar 48 and we diced them up into fourths or six whatever size you want your red potato hey winnie the pup welcome in baby um, so that, that's something for me I think about is what am I going to use it for? I need mean, our garlic has gone up beyond belief. Um, Joe, we need garlic at the house. Um, thank you. Um, oh, uh, there's either 70 cents each. So that's a dollar 40 or two forty for that, but they're a little bit bigger. It's 98 cents. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna let everybody go. I just wanted to show them the produce department. The next time we'll do like the deli or something like that. <clears throat> to compare it. Does it have right in front of you, baby? Right there, bulk garlic, 46 oh. a week. Sometimes I bring my husband to the store and I should leave him home. There you go. 68 cents for three of those. No. They're asking how oh. many do we have? Oh, you gotta <laughs> cancel. All right. We broke it, you guys. 204. Okay, grab it. We'll print it. So this is for three garlics. 238. So you save yourself 35 cents. But those are bigger usually. Okay. This is, bring them over here, baby. Okay. This is 204 for these three. They're not that great. They're not that big. But you get three of them for that. Three of these, and you pay 238. So you spend about 35 more cents. And they're a different type. I think they're called elephant garlic or something. Yeah, they're uh, tienda, Mexican. 238 for a three count. So, I mean, sometimes you just go, I'm just going to grab one. I don't need three of them. And we don't know what those taste like. Garlic, well, well, garlic will last you two, though. I, for me, I think we're only going to grab two, though. I don't think we need three. So, if for us, we buy things based on not wasting the money i for me i don't need three garlics sitting there because i would rather use the money on my eggs i would instead of having three garlics and i only needed one i would rather uh buy a gallon of milk or something like that it's not that we struggle for every every anything it's simply the fact of we'd rather spend uh, assign our money to something versus it being like just sitting uh 
in our fruit bowl or wherever our, our produce is, instead of it just sitting up there, hey, Allie, instead of it just sitting there and doing nothing, um, two of them is a dollar forty. A loaf of bread's a dollar. I'd rather buy a loaf of bread. That's just how we shop. Not everybody does that. Some people say, I don't want to have to mess with it again. I'd rather spend it uh, 240 or whatever and not have to worry about it. Go for that. Me, I want to hold on to my money. And if I need something else, I'll buy something else. But that's just me, you guys. This is when we did our seafood boil the other guys the other day. Look at how expensive. 73 cents for corn. And look at how skinny it is. I was like crying. I was like digging in there to find the good ones for you guys. Um, Brussels sprouts. These are, if you guys ever make tacos on Taco Tuesday, these are not called, these are not called um, scallions, okay? These are gonna be called sweet bulb onions. You put this on your griddle, your pancake griddle, put a little oil on it and let them roast slowly. Yep, fry them up. Put a little salt on them. These are very, very good. You don't cut them up. You don't cut them. You just set them like that. And they get nice and flavored from being on that griddle that you have with a little bit of oil. These will toast up on the sides. I'm telling you, you guys, Taco Here's Tuesday has, so has stepped up a whole different day. Um, I think that's it, baby. I, was, I think that's all I wanted to show them. I would, we can walk down this way. Um, I wanted to make regular bruschetta with you guys with tomatoes and basil, but I think we're going to let them go. We showed them a few things. Um, well, I mean, we I mean, it takes so long when we go shopping with you guys because we're like, well, how much ham are we going to use? Should we just buy it from the deli or should we buy a package of it? At least give um, them a lot of candy before they go, man. Okay. <laughs> so this is, I mean, you, everybody for each their own. Yes, you can buy the deli meat and it's uh, whatever. But for us, if we're not going to use the stuff, you guys, we think about it more sensibly like this. Six forty nine. Who prosciutto. can afford prosciutto wrapped around mozzarella sticks? Not us. You can, but for us, I'd sale. rather spend it, wait till that goes on sale and it's cheaper than that. I mean, me and Joe are always down for a good charcuterie board. We love a good charcuterie board. But I also think about it like, nah, there's times when we have company coming over, if it's date night or something with us, you don't need to do it just on a Tuesday or a Monday. Here, baby, put that in there. Um, but I think that's it. I wanted you guys, um, if you guys can buy your cheeses block versus grated. Two for five, baby. It's usually the same price. Um, up there. Oh, yeah. Look. But, I mean, you're going to just get, this is $2 for this block. So, I guess you got to fi figure out, like, one day we did the mozzarella. We bought it because it was quicker for us to do that. So, pepper salami. Ooh, you like pepper salami. Um, oh, life with mommy. Welcome, welcome, Mimi. All right, I'm going to let you guys get out of here. I appreciate everybody being here. T. Berry, Milltown, Alley, Liz. I got you guys next week. Ambudigas is going to be on Wednesday. And on the, oh, we got to put a cheese inside of it. Let me show them the cheese we're going to put inside of it. You guys are doing the uh, chili rellenos. And we are going to put, I just want a Monterey cheese to be honest with you guys. Monterey Jack, I like that. I'm putting Monterey Jack into our poblanos that we're gonna sweat out. We're gonna put eggs, it's gonna be a batter. We're gonna do our Roma tomatoes. The, so if you guys want, there's other cheeses you guys can put in it. Fresco, Ranchero. I'm using Monterey because I like Monterey Jack cheese. So use what you want. A lot of these are crumbly, so just be careful when you guys buy because we're doing that next. Oh, you guys, no, 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 the ambuligas is the cook-along. Okay. So I'm the only one that's going to be buying the stuff for the chili rellenos. Yes, yes, Joe. Joe's a whole mess. Okay, guys, let me get out of here. Oops, sorry. I 
love you guys. See you guys. Thank you guys for coming in. Oh my God, I feel like I'm looking in the corner. What's over here? Oh, yeah, I know. Right totally. Bye, you guys. Be blessed. See you guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for all the... Oh, let me use your phone so I can see who blessed. And there. I can... I think it was Thor. Thank you, Thor. Thor, you're the real MVP. Uh oh, Sparkplug Jackie came through. When did that happen, Jackie? Aw, thank you, love. Thank you for the Cash App. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sparkplug Jackie, and thank you, Thor, for the gifted memberships. Yeah. Please, if you guys got a gifted membership, thank them. Also, uh, have a great weekend. If you guys aren't coming in later, tonight or tomorrow tomorrow we're doing the rodeo we're gonna do the barbecue and the rodeo, the rodeo baby. so it's gonna be fun oh well we're not we're not doing the rodeo mom. we're going to thank you rodeo thank you austin but yes, we're yes. going to the the uh what is it called uh barbecue yeah I didn't barbecue say austin. yeah i didn't want to say all that oh shit yeah but it's already said how do you know it's not here it's show up huh nothing huh? <laughs> you just don't want it i just So, anyways, if you're in the Austin area, there you go. Um, uh, we're going to a rodeo tomorrow. I'm not sure yet what time we'll go live when we're there. Thank you, Berkey. Thank you for the cash up. Everybody who sent a cash up, Liz, I'm telling you, my man. I'm like, I just told him about somebody else. I'm like, yeah, we just don't want to say where we're going to be. I mean, you just never know. So, and Joe's like, yeah, we're going to the name of this one. I'm like, please, no haters. I don't want to have to Joe to pull out his pistola. I love you guys. He's. I ain't afraid. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm not afraid. I'm afraid. I don't want to have to go to. I don't want to have to wear yeah, metal. They don't allow any pew pews in there, but I, I got something else for them. Okay, bye. I love you guys. They they want to I love you guys. Thank you, everybody who sent the cash apps. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna do the grocery shopping just on the cash apps. So we might just be making uh, Raymond noodles and some eggs in it. I love you guys. Oh no! <laughs> she said one, one lady waves at you and you're Captain America now. <laughs> Liz, I'm dead. No, he's like, yeah, that's right. Because right. I'm a tough dude. That's right. <laughs> that was too much, you guys. I love you guys. Be blessed. Be blessed, be blessed. There's Joe walking away. We'll, we'll close out like this. Wait, hold on. Shingo. Okay. Hi. I'll walk around the back. Ah, I can't take this man anywhere. He busted it. I came around the back and nobody would have even need, seen us. And Joe's like, hey, we're back. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you. Thank you again for all your blessings. I love you all. We'll see you later. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not, what? I just happened to look. She's a nerd. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm all like excited and I come back and I see she called, she called me a nerd. I'm going to get you, Liz. You didn't expect me to see it that fast. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the cash apps, uh, Jack, Jackie and uh, Milltown. Thank you for the gifted memberships, Thor and uh jackie thank you thank you thank you guys are amazing you're a blessing bye spitfire i know i busted the bitch she's trying to talk about me while i walk away <laughs> i love you guys <laughs>